Hey everybody! I am going to paint over this painting today. I, this one, let me get it over here so I can read what number it is. It is video 281. And I never really loved it, but I went ahead and varnished it and I had it on Etsy. Um, but I never really liked it. Um, it looked too insecty to me. Um, and it's on MDF. So what I did last night was I, you can, I'm hoping it'll be all right. I sanded it, um, used my power sander to get off most of the varnish, but it's still pretty shiny. Sprayed it with Windex, tried to, you know, so I'm going to pour on it. And then this will be one that I will definitely have to let sit a few weeks before I resin or do anything um, until I'm sure it's not just going to peel right off. Um, I have painted, I have poured over varnished canvas without an issue, um, but it just seems since this is such a smooth, you know, it's a lot easier to peel off of MDF which is smooth than canvas. So we're going to attempt this. Um, and if it does peel off, then um, I'll know that it wasn't a good experiment, but I am not sad that this is gone. It just, I, there, there's just something always to it. And, um, and I think a lot of people felt that way, honestly, because this was not a popular one on Etsy. So I'm guessing a lot of people saw insects in it. And the color, um, well now it's, you know, I've sanded a lot off, but the color palette didn't, you know, wasn't really great for that insect thing. So I realized I do not want to be using these though. So I was looking at Mackenzie, this little girl that I painted with. Um, her painting is drawing so nicely. And the colors she used were so pretty. So I might have to um, swipe those colors, that color palette. So I'm going to do a black negative space pour this um, um, total brain fart. Uh, Dutch Boy Black House Paint with Floetrol and Water. I do like the um, Artist Black Paint. It's a little bit darker and richer. Um, but if I keep doing this much of it, um, it's going to add up in cost. But... Um, so this is, this is pretty good. I mean, this is good. The other just dries a little bit shinier, but if I'm gonna resin anyways, it's not as big a deal. So I've got to get stuff, but I have a gallery jury show that I need to apply for, and I'm doing the Girl Scout thing again. I don't know if that is just an Omaha thing, but um, it's called Art Venture. It's so cool. I did it last year. It was so much fun. And if you do it, then you get free tickets to go. And I didn't know what to expect because I've never been to like a, um, I mean, it was a fundraiser, but kind of a gala. They had beautiful hors d'oeuvres and, you know, um, people walking around with them on platters the whole night. And I mean, there were women in fancy gowns. I mean, there were people in jeans, there were, but yeah, we, and we got there kind of early and my husband and I are like, we feel a little bit out of place. I'm not quite sure what to do here, but it ended up being a lot of fun. That I think is not till March, but I think I can get my submissions in. I don't really know which ones I want now. I've got a 
with totally different ones come you know, March. Uh, and an update, the black painting, the rectangle with the white string pole that kind of looked like a bird, um, that is sold. So, because I had put on, on my resin update video that that one was available, but it is no longer. But I have a one about this size that's black with the white that will be available. It's not resined yet though. Slowly but surely this paint is making it way through. And the back on this was finished really pretty and I'm probably going to totally gunk it up now. I can see that some areas are okay so some areas it's just it's not that it's resisting it's just kind of coming off like here it hadn't even been on so we're doing pretty good on that respect there's a couple spots, like right here, that I may need to babysit for a little while, but... Where's my torch? There it is. So I kind of want to try this is that kind of off-white paint that my colors disappeared in um, that I tried it came from a can I know it and it was the one like I smashed I'm like the white ate my the negative space ate my color I can't remember what number that is and I think I might add some of that to this instead of my regular white, just to see what happens. And I think I will use a three ounce cup. So I've got Artist Love Deep Magenta. And Neon Yellow. I wish I knew where my neon blue was. I can't seem to find it. My friend Chris said he made some fabulous paintings with black and that I need to get um, more neon colors. This is mystery blue, by the way. So let's do yellow. Let's try a little. I'm probably playing with fate right here. But it's just paint, right? <laughs> you know how I said I was going to name my show that? I ended up asking her, I said, "Can do I have to have a name for my show? Can I just call it Ann Osborne Art? And she said, sure, that's fine. So my show is called Ann Osborne Art. <laughs> never been good at naming things. I mean, my kids have really good names, but otherwise, no. All right, so that is what's going on in there. Ooh, that was a good flip. Nothing got out. Can you believe that?
my hair is wet. You're probably like, God, she looks like crap. I forgot you can see me in the black. <laughs> People are thinking, what the? Oh, I just totally spit on this one. Probably like, what is wrong with her? Well, actually, I'm clean is what's wrong with me. I waited tables today. And then I came home and showered. And all I wanted to do was paint. So I didn't dry my hair. I didn't do anything. So I'm like, well, who's going to see me? I'm just painting. But you probably figured out by now that I'm not really one to be impressed by appearances. <laughs> Pretty much, a, you know, you, you see what you see is what you get kind of gal. I'm more impressed by what is inside than what is outside person. You can be beautiful on the outside and a total shit heel on the inside. But I still do put on eyebrows whenever I go in public. The rest of my makeup I don't care about, but I do need the eyebrows. My mom has tattooed eyebrows. I'm like, that's the way to do it. Alrighty. Speaking of tattoos, somebody asked the other day, my school district had a thing about covering up tattoos, maybe because she saw mine. No, my school district is, um, well, at least my school, and I'm assuming it follows the district rules, um, does not care about tattoos, piercings, um, hair color. A lot of the teachers at my school have like blue hair and you know, and sometimes they have bets with students, you know, it's like, if you guys, you know, do whatever, and I'll, I'll shave my head and dye my beard purple for you, and, you know, all sorts of fun stuff like that, and it gets the kids involved, and, um, so no, my school does not, my principal is a big advocate for individuality and all that good stuff, so... But the restaurant I work at, I can have tattoos, but I can't have funky colored hair. But I look really crappy in funky colored hair. Like I've had maroon and red and I can pull that off. But boy, you try and put highlights on me and <laughs> looks like something went really wrong. And on that tangent, are any of you from the 80s remember that spray sun in? That you would just spray your hair and then you'd bake outside and until your hair turned orange. And then you knew it was perfect. So this turned out way, way, way more pastel. Um, and I think it had to do with that white. I really, um, I think I'm going to go over it with just the three colors again and not the white. Because I don't like that baby pink blue going on. And I think I'm going to put the yellow and the blue next to each other actually. Because I wouldn't mind a little bit of green.
make it more as one. making it worse. <laughs> spoke out to somebody today who made a um, very crude sexual comment to a young girl, young woman, and uh, spoke out to him. And um, so that's just kind of weighing on my mind. So I want to give a shout out to all of you strong women and good role modeled men who watch me. Um, yeah, I know that's not really fun painting stuff, but that is what's on my mind. So each one of you is important. Don't ever let anyone's dumbass comments change the your feelings about yourself. I know that's really not what people watch videos for, but it's on my mind. Oh my gosh, I don't think I'm going to have enough black. Okay, that's not good. That's all the black I have. Okay, now, well, let's see what we can do with that. I can pour the three tons of paint that I have tipped off onto here. But in the meantime, I'm going to have to make this thing stretch forever. <laughs> I am really grasping at straws right here with my painting. going to see if I can do a hard tilt to get this back in the middle without looking like a zigzag sweater. Totally zigzag sweater, isn't it? Boy, not pretty. Not pretty at all. I just don't want to give up on it though. Hmm. I mainly don't want to give up on it because I just used up a whole bunch of black. So I don't want to have that all for waste. I 
guess I don't know how to fix it. actually do a big float cup. We're gonna try something. Going back to my regular white. I am blaming this whole ugliness on the fact that I tried that other white. So, it's not me. Bye, Mystery Blue. You were fun. Bye bye, Neon Yellow. I liked you too. And then this is this is a different black. This is um, Liquitex Basic. Well, that just was like a hundred times worse than it already was. <laughs> Where'd all the pink go? It's not over till I say it's over, so there's not giving up yet. Actually kind of cool and I'm going to try my hair grip because I got a whole lot of paint on here oh my gosh I think it's stuck with paint go figure oh my god I think it really is get rid of those black cells up there. I don't like them. But I like the other stuff going on. I like the softness. I like the gray and the pink and the softness of that. But um, that looks... What do we call that? Trictophobia or something? I hope that doesn't fall apart. That's pretty cool. See, I'm just trying to find the beauty in the painting. Gosh darn it. It's gotta be here somewhere. Those are not attractive. They're just kind of creepy. I've had a lot of paintings lately where the first time round is not working out.
Just observation. I don't really have anything else to add on that one. I do like it more. Man, all of that messing with the sides is made all my black paint go away. But on the plus side, with all these other colors that are now in it, if there's a little bit of white showing, there's white in the painting, so it'll just be okay. Look at that, I just found the beauty. <laughs> Honestly, I don't know. I'm gonna let it grow on me. I promise I won't wipe it off. I'm gonna let it grow on me. Um, because it's unique enough that it has a lot of possibilities. And it's a heck of a lot better than the bugs that were on it before. Sorry if I got a little serious there for a little bit. No, I'm not really sorry. It had to be said it was on my mind. And from all the comments I get from my viewers, you guys are a good, warm-hearted group of people. Of my fellow artist as well. I mean, the there's so much, um, you know, I help you, you help me going on with videos and, you know, I'll talk about their channel. They talk about mine and that's pretty cool. I mean, obviously this is all new in the art world because YouTube is, you know, it's not like it was around 20 years ago. All right, so now I do need to torch it though. Ew, see, I don't like those. <sighs> and they're gonna be more once I do this. Kind of gross me out. But I do like the yellow that's coming out. What did I do? I got a little bit of black glitter here. Let's have some fun. I love it in the black. I think I, I think I will be happy with this. What happens if I hmm, wonder if I all right. Well, I'm gonna go make
mix up some black paint so I can continue pouring some other black pieces. Boy, it is kind of a... Boy, I don't know. Now that I'm seeing it through here, I'm like, mm, I don't know about this one. But now that I have glitterized it, I am fully committed to seeing it through to the end. So thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time. Bye.